like a hell cut. Hey guys, Carbon107 here, checking in. So there seems to be some kind of controversy surrounding Blizzard's new game Overwatch. If you don't know much about it, it's a really interesting arena class based first person shooter game like Team Fortress on steroids, and it's going to be releasing here in May. It looks like it's fast, fun, and I'm extremely hyped about it. Now, the controversy is based on a character, Tracer. She's a young, spunky British girl who uses dual pistols and teleports around the map. If you watched the cinematic Blizzard release last year, her personality reflects that of a hyper, fun-loving, charismatic girl. What does it have to do with her? Well, apparently, a member of the community posted a forum topic talking about a specific victory pose that was available to Tracer. Now in this pose, which I do want to note that is usable by many, if not all, male and female characters in the game. She faces away from the camera and looks back with a large focus on her butt. Normally, I would probably gaff at this and move on, but the forum poster actually makes a valid point on this. Tracer's personality, at least as far as he could tell, doesn't seem like someone who would be so boastful to pose in a somewhat sexual manner. Granted, he does note that he does not disapprove of other female characters using this pose, specifically Widowmaker, who seems to be a sexy assassin with lots of focus on her curvy figure and her sexuality. What he brings up makes sense. My opinion aside, her personality does not seem to fit that type of pose. He makes another point, saying that his young daughter looks up to Tracer, reminding Blizzard and other gamers that quite a few young, impressionable gamers will idolize these characters. Where the controversy seems to spark from is when a spokesperson from Blizzard came out admitting that he, along with others in the development crew, felt the same as the concerned original poster. He went on to say that the pose itself was removed from Tracer and he thanked the community for speaking up and helping shape the game. This is what caused the backlash from people who disagreed and wanted the pose to stay on Tracer. First off, I want to note real quick, the pose was not removed from anybody else, meaning Widowmaker and other characters, including male characters, will still have that pose. Just Tracer right now is the one where it was removed from. Now, many people decided to equate this to feminists or feminazis and politically correct overzealous people causing Blizzard to censor the game, but that isn't where the actual controversy lies still. Many gaming sites, like Kotaku, latched onto the story and blew it way out of proportion. I mean, they blew this thing to Mars. It caused such a huge backlash, and even a petition got made for Blizzard to put the pose back. Their arguments are saying that Tracer can be sexualized too, it's Blizzard's game, if they wanted it in it should stay, and people whining about something they disagree with should not cause Blizzard or any gaming development company to censor their game. <sighs> okay, I'm going to give you guys my opinion on it. First, I agree wholeheartedly about Tracer's personality not fitting the pose. It seemed very off in the image I had in my head of her, especially after watching the cinematic and kind of seeing how she acts whenever you play her, the, the comments she makes, kind of just her overall attitude. There's nothing that really screams sexualized character. On the pose getting removed, I'm kind of right in the middle. You know, I don't think that censorship should ever happen in a game. Very, very few aspects of, of any kind of game will ever cause me to go, wow, that should not be in the game. You know, it might make me kind of turn my head. It might make me like, oh, why did they even do that? But I'm not going to say that should not be in the game because honestly, I'm one of the very few people you're never going to offend on stuff like this. I'm just not. I mean, I'm, one of my favorite type of movies is horror films, and if anybody can get offended by a horror film and, and still enjoy them, I, I don't understand. Okay, well, second, I also want to point out that it wasn't a feminist or a PC social justice warrior that made the original posting on the forum. This guy simply had an observation, and they wanted to let Blizzard and other gamers know how he viewed it and why. He just felt the same as me and thought that it wasn't right for her personality. I mean, honestly, if you guys just take a moment to, to check her out and, and see the cinematic, I think you guys might at least agree on that point. Yeah, her clothing might be suggestive, which apparently had caused a little bit of controversy saying that her clothes and her figure were a little unrealistic. Take that away, and she's still not a sexualized character. The last thing I really want to say is can the video gaming journalism be any worse at blowing stuff out of proportion? I mean, this thing was not that big of a deal. It was a simple forum posting posted on Blizzard's forum for the game, and a guy making his opinion, people agreeing or disagreeing with him. 
but whenever they latched onto this and posted it on their websites, it blew this thing wide open. I mean, you have people that don't even care about the game pissed off because they think that these feminists are censoring games, and I just don't agree with that because they didn't tell Blizzard that they were going to not play the game. They didn't tell them that they were going to boycott it. Nothing like that. They just simply said that they thought they just didn't agree with it. They thought that it just didn't go with what they had in their image of the character, and Blizzard agreed with them. At least that spokesperson and apparently a big enough crew on the development team agreed. Otherwise, it wouldn't have got taken away. They even came out and said that they didn't specifically remove it for that reason. They removed it because they felt before the post was ever made, the same. Or at least a big portion of them did. What I want to know is, do you guys agree with me? Do you think that I'm right that though it, it, I don't think it should have been removed specifically for this forum post or anything about that, but that they should have thought more carefully about how they develop their characters and what they should stick to and more of a cohesive personality and storytelling on these characters? Or do you completely disagree with me and think that I'm just stupid and I'm also one of these feminazi social justice warriors or whatever? Tell me. Leave me a comment. Make a video your own. Send me it. I will read it. I will watch it. Whatever you guys want. Shoot me a comment. Shoot me a subscribe if you guys enjoyed this kind of video because I should be posting more of these soon. This is Carbon107, and I'm signing out.